Well, hello YouTube. It is July 31st, 2014. Like I promised, once I get my vape mail in, my new atomizer, my Hygo W14, I was going to make a video of it. Well, here we go. I just struggled for about a half hour doing the try building this three coils. What a pain in the butt. I do have to admit. So let me zoom in on this and then see what I got here. I did I was gonna do three parallel coils, but it was even a challenge doing three single coils. So we have it. Okay, three single coils, they're vertical, meaning up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and wick on this. Oh, and by the way, I also got my new Panasonic batteries in. Wow, what a difference between the Panasonics and the H Cigar batteries. I thought the H Cigars were pretty good and everything. It, Panasonics actually kick butt. Way more power to your atomizer. Okay, there we go. Nice batteries. So it looks like those eight cigars are going to collect some dust. Or maybe I'll put them on eBay. So, anyhow, this is the atomizer that I just got. That I just got. It is the IGO W14. I already have washed it out and everything. Everything is drip drying. But uh, I'll, once I get it together, I'll sell you how it looks. But that's the deck on the 26650 mod. Okay? Really nice, right? It actually fills up the gap. Really nice. Actually, I'm going to compare it to my IGO W9 and let you see the difference. That's my W9 on the mod. Now you can see all the copper on the top here. Okay. W14 covers that all up. I'll go ahead and pop it together and let you see it. And then I'll go ahead and wick her up. Give it a vape. Wow. Look at the size of that beast. Three slotted air holes, one for each coil. It's a beast. Don't get in my way in a dark alley when I got this in my hand, that's for sure. Somebody might get hurt. All right, anyway, let's back to the show here. I don't know if anybody has noticed. I'm just going to bring this up. When I do my videotaping or my videos, or YouTube, I do not edit. Everything I do is one shot. If I goof up, I goof up. I fart on camera, <laughs> I fart on camera. One shot taking here. So what I'm gonna do, this atomizer is sitting at 0.2 ohms, using 24 gauge Cantal, Five four reps per coil. Brings it to point two ohms. I was actually hoping for about a point one, but I'll settle for a point two. See how this thing bakes on point two ohms with the new Panasonic batteries. So far as I can tell them, this thing is going to be kick ass. It'll hold a lot of juice. The drip well is very deep. I'm actually going to be able to put a lot of cotton in this atomizer as well. To help with wicking.
Let's just hope this atomizer can produce. And I'm hoping it can produce. I can see this chuck. Ice cloud. Yeah, I was hoping to do triple parallels in here, but like I said, that didn't quite work out. I'll eventually get it. I'll, put, I'll play around with the coil building in this. And when I do, I will show you. I started to pull my hair out. See, I'm bald. Doing the coil building here. Something I gotta get used to on a tri coil. When you got single center post. Nice thing about this this single center post though is that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a fluffy cloud right on the top. So when I drip from the top. It'll actually saturate the coils faster. Okay, so here's what we got. Nice fluffy cloud on top with the little carrot tops on the top here to help absorb liquid to my coils when I drip from the top. Nice cloud in the bottom. Okay. Let's get this baby juiced up. Alright, I'm going to use a strawberry shortcake. Some type of strawberry shortcake concoction here. It's actually really good. Yeah, the center post on here. Actually, you can trap your wires on the top screw. It'd be fairly easy if you're using three, like 28 gauge or something. But it also has three hip holes drilled on the post for each individual coil, which is actually kind of nice. Still kind of a pain in the butt to build on. But you know, having three individual holes is actually kind of nice though. The holes are sufficient to run dual 24 gauge into each one. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so here we go. Here she is all whipped up, all juiced. Out of fire. Oh yeah, she's hot. Let's get a little more juice on here. Pop the caps on and give her a vape. Now, yeah, didn't want it. Once I started building the coil, I realized maybe I shouldn't put the coil build on camera because it was very time consuming. It would have been a really long video. Once I master a particular coil build for this, then maybe I'll put it on. So we've got the three air holes. I'm going to make sure we center these to each individual coil. That's good. Now this is one beefy atomizer. Okay, let's take my favorite trick tip. Throw it on there. Clean it up real quick. There we go. 
Here we go, there she is. On my Stingray 26650. Look at that. No gap, hardly any gap around the top ring anymore. This thing big. And here is the first vape. Yeah, buddy. <coughs> now that's what I'm talking about. It's warm coming in, very warm. Good airflow, excellent airflow. Don't even have to modify these slots. Oh, oh. I gotta get used to that one. That's what I got this for. Ah. Oh, wow, oh, wow. <coughs> you get a good throat hit from it. Very good vapor production. It's very warm. Very warm. It's really, it's kind of, <coughs> kind of hot. <coughs> That's a short hit too. Wow. I wasn't expecting that from a point <coughs> from a point two build. That is very impressive actually. Because I was steering for about a point one. But I didn't want to go less than 5-4 wrap so I can cover more more area, surface area <coughs> on my wicking. I would have had to do a 4-3 wrap on each coil in order to get point one. But then there would have been enough coil on the cotton wicking. There it goes again. Let me try closing off that air hole a little bit. It is adjustable airflow. Just rotate the top cap. To close off. I don't know if you can see that. It's halfway closed off right now on all three. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, even halfway closed off, it still has good airflow. Wow, this is actually very nice. And those are short hits. Open those up wide open again. <coughs> wow, holy moly. Wow, very impressive. And with those Panasonic batteries, huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and pop in just for shit and giggles. One of those H cigar batteries, and I'll be able to take a longer hit because it won't be as hot. For some reason, I don't know what it is, and it is the, the ma in these batteries that makes the difference. It's a fully charged H cigar. Yeah, the vapor is not as hot at all. It's very warm. It's only warm now. When I put in that Panasonic, holy shit. There's <coughs> no reason that you get a gnarly throw here with the Panasonic in there. Alright, that adjustment means Panasonic's are a little bit shorter. Okay. 
Back to the Panasonic. Here we go. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> well, that's the gist of my video for today. 26650 Stingray with the Igo W14. Once you get past the build on this thing, yeah, it's pretty badass. The build is kind of a pain in the ass. Eventually, I'll get triple parallels in there. Once I get the triple parallels, I'll put it back up. That thing is going to be massive, Chuck. Massive cloud chaser right there. Well, anyway, everybody, have a good day and vape on.